obviously very different oh, yeah. games. Oh, yeah. I love most of what Clay makes. Yeah, seriously. Like, like uh, even, you know, games that don't end up being on my wavelength, like, say, Don't Starve, um, you know, I, I can get into that a little bit, but not... I can't become the committed player that a lot of people have become uh, for that game. Uh, but I still recognize what's cool about it. And, and Clay exclusively makes cool things. Uh, by the way, uh, for those who, uh, who uh, you know, haven't seen him, heard him before, this is uh, Cloudcraft. Uh, Cloudcraft Games is talking to me over the uh, over Skype right now. He's played a lot more of this and remembers it better than I do. Uh, and so he's going to be kind of guiding me through the experience. Ish. The experience kind of guides you through itself pretty well, but I can talk about, like, designy stuff and details that you might not see right away. And especially because, you know, it, it, it takes longer than a single session to, you know, get through this entire game. Uh, I'm hoping that I'll, I'll, I'll be able to spend the time later on to actually, you know, play this to completion. But in the meantime, if you want to get a sense of what this game is building towards, I think Cloudcraft can probably tell us a bit about that stuff. It, it's building towards being awesome, but not as awesome as it could be. Like, my <laughs> okay. biggest criticism of the game is it doesn't fully explore its potential. All right. Well, hey, you know, that's that's what sequels are for, right? So <laughs> yep. hopefully they'll, uh, you know, uh, something like that. Uh, obviously, it's been a while. I, if they were working on a sequel to this, it probably would have happened already. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to dream. Uh, you just faded out on the audio for me for a second. Oh, uh, I don't know if that now? was just on my end. Can, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, good. I hope hopefully that wasn't for everybody. I'm having weird, sketchy stuff going on with my audio around here. Like I like sometimes I've seen my bar go high, and sometimes I've seen it go low, and I'm really not sure what's causing it. So hopefully it's not too bad for folks. Um, looks like Dan had the same experience, and uh, so Dan31 is here in the chat, and uh, so is Kira Sue. And oh, look at this! Play is an option. <laughs> I thought I was on a loading screen, but I was uh, <laughs> on a menu. But, by the way, one piece of advice for this, the game has optional uh, objectives, and I highly recommend trying to go for them, like, even your first time through a level. Okay, I'll definitely do that. While folks are watching the opening cutscene, I'm going to see if what happens if I just unplug and replug in my mics. So just a moment, I'm going to decide the screen. Wahaha, the stream is mine. Also, hi, Dan. Hi, Kiraz. Uh, okay, so it's not just me. Okay, uh, I have no idea if that would have worked. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me okay. Uh, if not, I'll have to uh, get our audio guy in here to have a look at what's up with his mics. Because they were fine this morning. Uh, Kirisu can, uh, can hey, test. Hey, you. Don't you hear the bell? By the way, I would like to commend Quet. I'm here to help you. Commend them on Rule their cutscenes, which never show you doing things that you can't do in the game. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, I, I, that's that can be a very frustrating thing in a game when it... Uh, crap, my oh, frame also, rate is really bad right now. Ooh, that's, that's bad for this I'm game. Wonder, also, I'm wondering I, if, this, if, if the game is having trouble uh, running with uh, XSplit and Skype and everything going at once. Yeah, that could be an issue. I, I do um, design, design commentary. commentary. What? What? They've gone back and added design commentary to the game? Holy crap. Uh, now I need to play again. <laughs> well, yeah, it, if we end up with a frame rate problem, I'm going to need to play, you know, on my own anyway, uh, outside of the stream. Yeah. Or we may be able to resolve it with something, but yeah, frame rate issues could be an issue. Um, I love the way they introduced the way that uh, the sound UI works. We got the oh, right yes. away, sir. It's great. It's like, there's no way to miss that that is what noise is. Also, the color design on conveying visibility is just amazing. Now, let me, um, really quick, I wonder, music volume and sound volume. Dang, they don't have voice volume. I was about to say, because you can't hear the voices, um, I, I want to just turn off their sound so that uh, you're never talking over them. Uh, the story is actually kind of worth... Oh, oh, Wait, we, oh me Where's your soul? Yeah, you personally, yeah. Stick to the darkness until you find one. But yeah, you're right about the way that they just completely change the colors of the character. And they don't just darken you or something. Like, they, they do something... Yeah, it's a change between what, like, in reality the colors of the character would be and what people observing would see yeah so here's some guy over here oh, 
And it also, it's man. one of the most accurate ninja garb I've actually seen again. Oh, really? Accurate? Watch really? out. They're coming this way. Yeah, they, they never wore black. Black actually doesn't blend in that well. Oh, oh yeah, I guess that's true, right? It turns into a silhouette against anything that's given off the slightest light. Yeah. Yeah, it would be like dark rooms and okay. stuff like that. Keep moving. So, generally in this game, there's a lot of, like, not always, but there's a lot of, like, letting a guy go past, and then More as time. soon as Find he's past, you hide. immediately move it. <laughs> Bec because you'll notice, when you're just walking, you don't make sound. So, I'm going to turn the sound down, because uh, Kira Sue is pointing out that... Uh... They're getting our voices to the right volume. Uh, now, now the game audio is fine. So, let's see if this also, makes a difference. Also, notice all those undetected bonuses. You can j get, I think, just as many points in this game playing totally non-lethal, if not more. Hold on. Oh, that's great. Run, and they'll be able to hear it. And notice how you scared those birds and they made noise. <laughs> that <laughs> stuff comes in later. And the blood will make them look even more. Like you can scare birds on purpose to distract enemies, that sort of thing, or or, or yeah, you like you, can't you can run in like, certain places because it will make a bunch ledge. of noise. Yeah. From there, or you or can, you can and you just have to deal with the consequences of the guards hearing the noise. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah, the thing, the point that you made about oh, I have a grappling hook. Nice. Yes, this is kind of a core feature of the game. So, but the, yeah, the point you made about how if if they wanted to make you know, when you want to make um, non-lethal play. A, a, a genuine option in your game, you have to reward it, right? Like, like you can't, you yeah. can't uh, have all of your experience, for instance, come from kills, and then a and then pretend that your game has a non-lethal option. As written by its master. Yep. We're trying, trying to balance those two though, because they're usually you're doing fun. Uh, like you're, I believe that text box Hatsushi. thing was something you could interact Hatsushi. with. I may be wrong because I haven't played Never. the tutorial level in forever. This thing here. I yeah. think this is design commentary, this. Oh, that's design commentary. Okay, that's why I didn't remember that thing. <laughs> but yeah, but like, the, pro the problem is that, you know, lethal and non-lethal play is usually like fundamentally different in some way. In some games, they, they deliberately sort of make it practically the same thing. Like, oh, push this button to kill them non-lethally and push this button to kill them lethally. But you're essentially removing yeah, the guard in the same exact way both ways, uh, in which case, you know, uh, I mean, it's easier yeah. for them to score it, but it doesn't it's... work that way in this game. There are like they don't know limited non-lethal ways Let's of removing keep... guards, but they are not permanent. So non-lethal in this game means just not not engaging, right? It I, it either means not engaging now or it means kill. distracting. The beginning of the kill is like embracing a lover. The end, of course, is not. Or wait, actually, I... <laughs> the end, of course, is Was not. Was there? Oh yeah. What do I do? X X X. What? What's happening? Oh, you need to hit the direction and press the button. But remember, you, gotcha. okay. you have to be quick to catch them. Body hit. You know a game is a good stealth game when it has you hiding bodies. <laughs> yes. By which I mean I have yet to see a game which lets you hide bodies, which is a bad stealth game. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm still. Um... I only got two missions into Hitman, and then now, like, all of the the new Hitman, all of the, um, you know, DLC has come out now. And uh, I need to go back to it, because, you know, it is my it is my favorite uh, body-hiding game of all time. <laughs> yeah, this is less a body-hiding game. This, even if you're doing stuff lethally, like, it's often a significant challenge if you actually want to kill everyone in the level. <laughs> Whoa, that made a bunch of noise. So, uh, Kirisu just reminded me that I didn't turn the music down, and uh, so I really didn't fix it. Darts! They will not damage enemies, but they will break fragile things and cause a distraction. So... The ink from your tattoo has honed your senses. Focus your thoughts, and you can freeze time in your mind. Freezing time. Aim at one of those. And... Okay, how do I lock? Oh, mark target is Y. And then release. Oh, smash. Nice.
If you need more cover, you could always destroy the lights. But she I had something to say here, but I'm forgetting what it was. Noise, so be ready for them to react. Yeah, oh, so, so brutal. that's one way of dealing with that. You also <laughs> could have just used the distraction to carefully slip by him when he wasn't looking where you were trying to move. Which is actually how I would normally play, uh, but since I'm on my stream, I'm a murderer, so... Yeah, I I've noticed this pattern. <laughs> so I did skip a guard down below and decided to kind of go into sneaky way up above. I, I think that in this, like, in most levels, there are, you could get past a guard any number of ways. Brutal. Prowling spider. Also, you can hit the gongs with your uh, darts. Oh, that's right. I probably could have sent him over to investigate the dong. Go the dong? Investigate the dong. Uh, and then and then come out and then sneak by him that way. That would have been probably yeah. smarter. Um, so... And the guard AI is pretty <laughs> interesting in this game. Uh, except I keep killing them, and so we can't really ex explore it. Yeah. Uh, well, why don't you try... Actually, the tutorial may force you. I don't quite recall, but... Try to do a non-lethal uh, playthrough the same level? Snap off the branch. Well, not really a non-lethal playthrough. Weapon. Just try, like, distracting a guard and watching what he does. Oh, and he's not even engaging the that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. A and also, if he notices you, what he does is interesting, too. Okay, yeah, let's, uh... We need to make him look the other way. Alright, so we can... Wait, is it allowing you... Is that a developer t commentary you can target What's with that? a dart? What the... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember a very specific point in playing the game where I was extremely frustrated how I couldn't understand when the guards could see or hear me. This was forcing me to play on a surface level of understanding where I could only guess at the consequences of my actions. I was unable to plan anything complex. In my mind's eye, I recall a metaphorical switch in my head that made me go on a crusade to clearly de delineate everything, from sound to vision to co vision cones to where the current guard state is. That's Jamie Chang, executive producer. So yeah. that, is, that is actually something that I was thinking of commenting on, uh, which is, okay. Also, notice how the guards also do the thing where they change colors in visibility areas. Oh, yeah, like if you can't oh. see them, then they, yeah. They, it's, well, it's, ah, waste of time. Well, they change colors. You can still see them when they're oh, in areas where you couldn't be seen, but the color changing makes it easy for you to tell if they'll see you coming towards them. In the same place. So that, that makes sense, yeah. So I can sort of investigate the terrain by watching them move around. Yeah. And it's also a really nice shorthand where you've got when you've got several guards on screen doing different things See that and door? you want to move quickly. Don't open it yet. Just lean against it and try to sense what's on the other side. <laughs> also the visibility mechanics and you can those little things as feet are sound so you, you can see those on screen even when you can't see him. Oh yeah, that's true. So if you want the scroll, you've got to go through there. Otherwise, you can circumvent. Yeah. So so the um, so the thing I was going to point out was just, like, the philosophy they used here carries over into Invisible Ink, where basically their, their um, strategy is to give the player as much information as they possibly can. Like, they're not trying to hold stuff back from me. They're giving me as much information and as many options and as much power as they could possibly give me. And then that allows them to ramp up the difficulty and make... And, and make require me to like you know to do really badass things because they've they've made the entire they made me feel so powerful and make everything so, feel so fair you know that, that, that they're not going to frustrate me by uh by expecting a lot out of me so yeah you could actually grab the scroll without him noticing if you're fast and uh careful well, he or you could just kill him he doesn't spend very much time oh wait I can walk on the ceiling, can't I? Or can I? Uh, some ceilings. We do not fear And then hook death. yourself back up. Our lives have been cruel. The clan And also there's this, because you're not in the light right now. You can do stuff like that. <laughs> so I'm a complete amateur at this game, but I felt like I did something incredibly badass right there. Yeah. That That's one of the things this game is great at. <laughs> Some That's kind a of checkpoint. Crow thing. All right. There we go. 
Also, it's tied into the story. Alright, so I'm trying to get by these guys if I... So here's the fun thing, is that one guy who's just standing will definitely see you if you try to go for the grate. So yeah. he has to not be looking there. So I, I could don't... see if... Will both of them go after this gong? Why don't you find out? Because you just hit checkpoint, so if you, like, die or something... Oh, that's true. Be something around here. Yeah, and I, I love how they start using the light when they're searching for you, but then if they haven't seen you yet, if they actually no see you, their behavior will change more. Oh, so they'll like start using their using their light. All, instead of pointing their light at yeah. the ground, they'll start pointing light at you know places what? where they think you might be? You know what? You just got a checkpoint, so why don't you try actually trying to get spotted and then, like, rain away and see what they do? Hey, Where? Target sighted. Oh no! Run! Oh crap! I lost him. Oh, I'm detected, but it's counting down. I believe if you like duck down by pressing down, you can see below. Oh, wait, maybe not. But yeah. So, so now. And see now that they're, they're like up. hunting. So I, they, did they? Did they shoot that light? Um, they probably shot the light trying to shoot you. That makes sense. So now, but I've got a whole Now they know situation. there's an enemy around, they're hunting for that enemy. But because of that, you were actually able to get away easier. Yeah, that, that, it's fascinating, right? That, like, basically that challenge is an entirely different challenge once I've already been detected. But, yes. but it's still a solvable one, you know, that I can still get through non-lethally. Yep. I scouted up ahead. They're taking Ninja as hostages, and Master Azai is in trouble. We have oh, to no. hurry. Ninja hostages. Use the map to help find your objectives. So I'm here. Oh, we did all that stuff already. Whoa. This is so, a big level. And here's where you can see those optional objectives I was telling you about. Oh, right. Rescue all the ninjas. Save Azai without being detected. Um, so does that mean that um, I've already failed that because I've been detected? Uh... I don't actually recall whether that's just the save as I portion or whether that's the whole level. No, we'll, have to, well, we'll find out. But yeah, um, the, I like the ringing the gongs one. That's a stealth objective where you have to do something inherently unstealthy to get it. <laughs> and uh, if you complete like all, I, I forget if it's all or just most of the objectives in a category. Um, Oh, you man, the you button. then unlock a costume which will have an effect on how you play. Yeah. You don't have any items yet, right? Ah, uh, waste of time. Aside from the darts, I don't think so. Okay. You can go lethal. I know. I'm just I'm no trying problems. to think of like I'm trying to see if there's a non-lethal way to get by this guy. Like if if I could. Uh, I think there's a great. Yeah, there's a great on the place he's walking around. Yeah, so it's like if I could just... That's it. I can think I jump if... over his head, though? I mean... You can jump over his head, but I think if you touch him, he notes you, if I remember correctly. Hey! Right here! here. You oh, do crap. have to watch the vision cards, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing, good thing is the guards can't actually follow you through crates. They're all aware they that I'm here now. Their buttons. Yeah, I, I like that they can shoot through crates. I just heard something. Just hang it out. We'll check that out, will ya? There was something right here. Yeah, notice how you've also got a gong in this room and a dragon statue to hide behind. So, like, I already gave up on the uh, not being detected thing. <laughs> yep, gong. I know. So I could have used that gong to distract that guy, save the ninja. I don't know how do I save the ninja. What, what I that? forget. Again, I haven't played Wait, this did one. Did that count that as saving much. the ninja? We killed as many as we oh. could, but they overwhelmed us. He's tied up. It's clear. Now you've saved. Now I've saved it. Okay, he goes poof. No one. Let's move on. Who was that? So, they can open doors. So is that a like a point of interest? Like, 
when, when there's something yellow, does that mean that he can, he's interested in that? Guard down, yes. approaching. That's just lost a man, huh? Thought he found, oh no! And notice how you also lost points for that. Oh yeah. Like if I hide a body and it's ineffectively hidden, then uh Yeah. Yeah, you can hey. I don't remember if the game already showed you this, but hey, you can hide play. bodies inside of the of the bricks. Oh yeah, that's probably be more effective than certainly more effective than what I am doing. Yeah. I mean sometimes you can just move a body somewhere that a guard's not gonna come. But sometimes you need to actually find a place to stash them. Gotcha. Move on. Notice how he's right below a light. No sign of target over here. Oh yeah. Oh, could I, is that the kind of light I could have knocked down? I just realized it's yes. Oh, okay, it that, is. I, I messed that up because yeah, I, I, I would have preferred. To Don't worry about me. Go save Master as I. I'm not going to get any of the optional objectives, but I will remember that. Yeah, usually I I check them as soon as I get into the level. Yeah, part of the problem is like I think watching me complete all the uh, the objectives sounds less exciting. Uh. It, well, it's worth it because you get stuff out of it that you can use. Because like, I can imagine myself like. I think I by the way, it, wait, is there a captured huh? ninja here? Because I think you can completely circumvent these guys just Check using the event. Oh, okay. let's be something around yeah, here. Yeah, like that. There we go. Here. And hopefully we'll get to see some of the other guard types before the stream ends. Oh, There's a guy here. Because so these stay basic there? guys, like on their own, as you've probably seen already, they're really not that hard to deal with, even in a situation that's not necessarily. Yeah. You jump around Here. enough and But but then combine them with the special guys and then all of them start becoming a threat. So you might need to just do this part without being detected, but again, I'm not certain. So All right, you haven't gotten the jump on people from above and murder them ability yet. I forgot about that. Yeah. You so notice the grates below. If you can get down to them and then distract people, you can uh, just pull them into the grate. Hey, do my sights. Oh crap. <laughs> Oh, taking these guys out is really hard when they can see you. Peasant's death. I give death. a peasant's death. Yes. <laughs> that, that's, that's basically the game's way of saying, ha, you pleb. <laughs> For centuries we have stayed hidden. We shunned the modern world and its jackals. But today, our enemies have found us. We must. I'm not sure if Karasu saying the game audio is loud was recent or if... I think that was a while ago. That's why I turned okay. it all down. Uh, so now it might be a little bit excessively low because now we're in the middle of a cutscene we can't understand. I called upon a champion to fight for us. He I'm the champion. What the? He will defend the clan. I got That's crazy the tattoos. Mark of the ninja. This is the part so where no alarms ninja raised, no being the perfect ninja. Yeah, so no alarms raised, no enemies killed would have been amazing. And so, so this this is the kind of thing where it's like I feel like I assume that there is a um, yeah level select right. So if I, if, if I go to level select, oh that's what this was. Okay, gotcha. So I can sort of see what I've accomplished here in the in the sort of yep. yeah over there. And there. <laughs> now now you should have access to you can probably buy a skill or two. Okay. Uh, wh where do I do that? Uh, Not by doing this, probably? I forget, actually. <laughs> they might introduce it to me at Here's some point. The like, yeah, they might be introducing it at the they start of this level. So this tattoo is, like, Let hurting me, me all the time? The story of the inn and of the champions who came before you. 
before the restoration. I'm not gonna say anything about the tattoo because you kind of wanna experience the story as it yeah. plays out. Because it, it's not a deep story, but it's a very well delivered one, I think. And there's some implicit storytelling that goes on and stuff. That is why every champion I love the animation in Clay games. Yes. They just like crazy over the top because their first game uh, shank like got a lot of attention because mostly just because of how 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 good it looked you know how this it, it was funny because it, it reminded me at the time i was like oh it's like it looks like penny arcades art style you know but clay is, has gone on to you know this you know like the two shank games and this game have kind of a similar art style but then don't starve and invisible ink have very different styles and they've really kind yeah. of branched out in, in recent years uh, try the start menu. Maybe that's where you buy the upgrades. Hmm. Uh, I'm not remembering. Yeah, I or think maybe the mechanic just hasn't been introduced. These buildings yet. are protected oh, by high tech tripwire. I think tripwire. maybe you need to go to a certain thing. But you can wreck them all. Yeah, sorry about this. I, I, I blame sweep deprivation. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> I would know this. Oh, no, that's fine. Yes, I, I know you have some, some experience with sweep deprivation. <laughs> Destroy yeah. that, and you'll bring down all the lights. For a time. Destroy what? What chili is it? The alarm switch off when the guard walks Damn. past them. Wow, that's oh, weird. Uh, oh, you're, did you use the grappling hook or did you just fall? I used the grappling hook. So, so yeah, does that make noise? The grappling hook makes noise when it hits. It's a small noise, but if it's close to the guards, they'll hear it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you need that guard because the laser disengages when he goes through. Hey! Eyes on target. I'm dead. That's fine. Yes, you die quickly. I kind of don't mind dying. Because, uh... So, you can just drop onto that and, yeah. But you need the guard to disengage the laser for you. So you can just creep along behind him and just pretend he doesn't exist. <laughs> okay, so we'll let him do that. Yeah, there... When you play this game non-lethally, there's a lot of just walking around right behind guards. <laughs> like, you're just casually there. Just one of the guys. Just don't touch him. So do I actually want to go on this way, or do I want to wait till him, for him to go back? And then... uh, I think you can go both ways. Let's see what's over here. Or maybe not. Oh, it looks like there's nothing. Usually there's multiple ways to go in situations like that, but sometimes. Because this is an early game level, they're, and they're trying to teach me some new stuff. Yeah. They'll keep it more linear. Gloink. Hey. So, oh. key here is by doing that, you're going to alert the guard that there's crap going on usually. Oh, it's, oh so he might notice or, oh, that wait, that actually, laser's gone? Not in this case, but if, if a light near a guard or something suddenly just cuts out, he's going to realize, hey, something's going on. So, maybe I just don't need to worry about that. Come over here. Checkpoint. The transformer should Notice be the close, raven theme. But be careful. Yeah. The catwalks are crawling. That certainly guns. is not at all part of the implicit storytelling. <laughs> I love that she, because this is about ninja, like, they don't have to explain how anyone gets anywhere. <laughs> they actually don't take as much advantage of that as you'd think. Now, here's that light scanning, but is there anybody who's going to see you if you're under that light? I don't think so. I think I'm fine. Yeah. In a game like this, I almost like, I kind of like being unseen just for no reason sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. My, like, I play unseen non-lethal not because I, I care about if these guys would die, 
or about the points, but because it makes me feel like a badass to just absolutely humiliate these guys by accomplishing my objective with them not even knowing I was there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to see if uh, I just can drop down here. Okay, I can't hide in this. Yeah, dark foreground objects that aren't part of the ground, you can always hide. Okay, so with that guy to not be facing me. Yeah, this, I believe, was the first place I actually... Also, you failed one of the optional objectives. I forget what it was, but oh. you can check. Reach transformer in under a minute. Okay, so that, that's the kind of thing where like when you really know what's going yeah. on. Yeah, I believe this is the first place I got uh, killed when I uh, played the game the first time. Because I, I got detected by one of these guys, and, well, th they can... What was that? Like, they can shoot through, like, the platforms, <laughs> and they don't just lose track so of far, you because so you're far away. They lose track of you because they can't see you. <laughs> so, uh, when you have four guys trying to shoot you all at the same time... Yeah. Now, so, d did that count as being unseen? I mean, they, they, they detected me, but they never saw me in my Um, I forget what counts for the unseen bonus. I think you get some, something for not being seen at all, but... Like undetected or whatever? I, I'm blanking on whether uh, you being seen, but them not, like, going on alert counts as just, like, them noticing something or them actually Remember, seeing you. If a guard is blocking your way, you can try to distract him. Ah, now you have items. Yes. So, oh, I like, I love this. I can just plan exactly who's going to see it and where it's going to land. So, mark yep. target. Is it, wait, is it mark target that I do? Uh, you, go, you yeah. don't mark targets with things that aren't darts because you can't throw multiples at once. Oh, gotcha. Something over here. And now, here's something where you sometimes need to be careful, because they can shine their lights into the vents. Uh, change item. So Jump and then hold. Yeah. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That is great. So I, get, so I really can just freeze time doing anything to throw darts. Yes. So oh. you could do a thing where rather than doing this the slow, easy way, you jump to the next platform and then, yeah, do that. <laughs> and now you look like a badass. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, they just give me this opportunity to look like a badass. I don't have to look like a badass if I don't want to, but I can. So, I guess t take these lights out. Both lights is probably good. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you have multiple out. solutions to this problem. That that was one of them. That's, in fact, the kind of thing I usually do. Yeah. The this quicker it is, the better, yeah. <laughs> better it feels. And this is actually an optional thing. Oh. But so I, just, I suggest doing it. This is like I unlock some, some additional, like, weird, I don't know, spirit level or something? Challenge. Yeah, you want to use B on the uh, thing that B you were prompted to, so you don't die. Oh, B. Yeah, it's. I believe it's a time challenge, maybe? Actually, it might not be a time challenge on the first one. It's probably a puzzle. So... Oh, yeah, it's a puzzle. That box is movable. Slide this... Over yes, here, maybe? They, they put, like, most of their Legend of Zelda stuff in optional areas. <laughs> One problem is, like, I can't control how high I jump. And sometimes I'm terrified. So I'm not sure why I just did that. Uh, just drag the box onto the button or oh, something. Oh, onto the button. Oh, okay, oh gotcha. no. Actually, I know what you need to do. You need to, so you need to use that box to block the lasers you turned off at the start. And then turn them back on and that'll turn off the one on top. 
Oh, gotcha. Okay, let me look. Let me look where those lasers were. Okay. Oh yeah, boxes are sometimes mean. All right. So it was all it was all these lasers. The there's one going yeah. up and one going sideways. So we'll do that. Ah, it's just really hard to avoid just grabbing everything. Okay. Yeah, the, these are basically all either puzzles or like movement challenges or something where it's don't get killed by the lasers. Uh, how do I? That specific type of overhang you can always climb onto. Okay, gotcha. I got a thing! Let me tell you the stories of the birth of the mighty Hisumu clan from the time of our first and greatest master. I don't Tetsuji. know if you need to. It's fine. I tremble before Tetsuji, greatest ninja of clan Hisumu. Hey! Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Well, you're definitely not getting silent now. Yeah. Well, you know, I died. Oh, no, but I hit a checkpoint. Whoa, weird. Really? I hit a checkpoint. That is actually while weird. While he's chasing me. I don't... I mean, this game does actually have a few glitches and exploits to it, so I'm not that surprised. It is kind of funny to me how similar some of these mechanics are to things in, in Invisible Ink. Yep. Well, more like how similar Invisible Ink is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are, like, I know the speedrunning community has a glitch they can use to fly, basically. What? Yeah, it, it involves abusing that hover in the air feature. Oh, wow. So they, they, they can come out of it and do things they couldn't do in real time? Yeah. I, it's, I'd never want to do it because it involves spamming buttons really rapidly, but... All right. And yeah, when, when I do like runs of this where I'm trying to get really good score and stuff, I'm usually running as much as I possibly can. Like anytime nobody's, nobody's around to hear it? No, even when people are around. And that makes Blackout things tricky. Right. Although it well, also allows me to do that. some stuff I we couldn't do otherwise, where my running sound actually gets guards to turn, and then I time a jump with that. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's just go under this guy. But yet, yeah, you can just clear guards with your jump, but you have to be very precise so you don't actually fall into their sight cones. What, what, what's happening? Oh. Mm. All the lights are turning on just when I get there. Hey! Target sight. Oh, hey. Whoops. I lost him. What? No, I wasn't trying to get some programming commentary. <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> I'll just hide. We're not going for perfection this time around. I'll come back here to do it perfectly. I really am hoping we get to the upgrade system. Yeah. I assume it has something to do with my uh, tattoos. Because why would you uh, give a why would you give a video game character tattoos unless you're going to use them to represent upgrades? Has seen yes and no. Scouring the grounds. The the core idea right with the tattoos actually is more story and like uh, narrative based we upgrades. Turn the power back on one floor at a time. I'm turning the power for the fifteenth floor back on. <sighs> As far as this guy was. Oh crap! <laughs> that doesn't help me. There was a, an opportunity when I might have. Like right now? Yeah, wait, crap. I think I heard something. 
See, you can do stuff like that. That is good. Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm just hearing things. Guess you are. Sorry, buddy. I wish I could hear the guard dialogue. So, do you get a, uh... Yeah, he saw you go in there. He's not an idiot. He may not be super perceptive, but he's not an idiot. So, I just realized that that uh, noise that they made when they detected me, it was a Metal Gear noise, but it was also, I think, the exact same noise from Invisible Ink. No sign of target over here. And it's meant to be, like, to recall the Metal Gear, no like, burr, sound, but I'm pretty sure it's, like, pretty much the exact same audio file as, uh... I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's appropriate in both cases. There are some vents above you. Those are probably your best bet out. Turning the power for also, the when they are hunting for you, the noises they make are really useful for seeing where they actually are. Oh yeah, that's true. I love that the question of whether you Run. know where they are. He knows also... where you are. Oh crap. Oh, what? Oh. You that was a death? death. Death that probably could have been better. Right. Check your map. I will have to check my map. Map. Objectives. Oh, up above. Okay, so. Oh, I think you need to go left. All right. Well, we'll do that then. Is he going to come out here? So now if you want to do this really fast, that's when you would drop down behind him, open the door, close the door, and just hook it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You do remember you have the noise maker too. Oh, that's true. Or you could mess with the lights. So I guess there's nothing I can get from He's telling his friend, hey, there's something going on. What is it, buddy? It must be magic. Oh, yeah, he must be. Don't worry about where I am. Ah, waste of time. Yeah, seriously. So let's attract him over there. I think I heard something. Something weird must be happening. I love the audio hey, for the guards. Oh crap! This is where you run. <laughs> Carefully close the door with him with me on the yes. inside. Yeah, that's that's what I meant to do. Turning the power for 16 back on. Uh, my insightful commentary is adding so much to this. I, I'm mostly just enjoying watching you play. That's not what. Uh, <laughs> I intended to do. See, it's fine. This is an instance where going lethal is probably a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. Power for 16 back on. Okay, so I can't really... Because you could take out the guy behind you, then just distract that guy and either take him out or not. Yeah, I think it hurt something. Hello? So if I did this entire thing quickly enough, I probably wouldn't need to deal with the power carrying. Like, I, I could do the whole thing in the darkness. Is he going to open the door? Uh, oh, frack! The, the lights are scripted. Okay. Guard you made down. noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the lights are scripted to provide a challenge you might not be able to get if you just approached the area. Uh, and uh, also, I think to amp up tension. On. Yeah. I assume oh, the vent, vent kills are something that I can unlock later on. Yeah, yeah. That's vent kills are an unlock. From above kills are an unlock, and several other right. things. Right. Did not know that was about to happen. I'm screwed. <laughs> what is 
that room even? <laughs> that is a gun turret. Uh, 18th floor, power's almost back on. Woohoo! Alright, feeling good about that. Yeah, later on, several levels in, I think, uh, we get motion sensors, yeah. which are a lot of fun. Because now, You're oh, almost you at the can roof. be where they're looking, but you can't be moving while they're looking the there. Power back on for 19. <laughs> so in this instance, you could probably kill both of them without them noticing. That was, that was really Not quick. Right. Yeah, you need to do. You need to execute the prompts right, or oh, that is, that, is that what I did? Okay, let me. Let me. Is there a research checkpoint? Yeah. Let me yes. try to get. So yes, there is. I didn't get the prompt. So that's that's why he made noises because I didn't get the prompt yes. right. Turning the power back on for 19. That That's what the whole silent assassin thing. Oh, I forgot. There's that weird thing where for some reason you can't stash bodies hey, in buddy, underneath okay? vents. I don't know why that's Damn a thing, it, a good but man. that's a thing. Hey, I know you Oh shit, it's him! I thought I was gonna get to... I meant to do a stealthier kill with that, but instead I gave him a peasant's death. <laughs> the phrase peasant's death is amazing. Yes, yes it is. Hey, buddy. Oh crap, laser. What? You, okay. you were just out of the laser. That was crazy. I love how hiding behind a pod somehow lets you avoid these lasers. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I'm, I'm hiding in the third dimension. Yes. <laughs> I just love how gamey it is. Yeah. This is another check your map moment. Oh crap! So actually, I didn't need to do any of this. Uh, check your map. The, I believe this was an oh, alternate I, way of gaining around one of the other channels. Okay, so so yeah, so these are both ways in. I just went from one way in to another way in. Yes. Yes, you did. Congratulations. Also, I love how they put the lights here to fuck with you. Because <laughs> there's, there's no reason to worry it about them. Makes it feel more real. But yeah, because you don't need to worry about the lights here, but they still have them. Well, unless, of course, the guards notice you, then the lights can actually matter. Mm, well, this is another. I'm already place lethal, so. Easy. Yeah, lethal is probably easier. So would I have, I probably would have actually dropped down, distracted the guard to the right, and then gone past him if I was going. Uh, yeah, that's one way to do it. There's usually multiple ways to do both lethal and non-lethal, so. Yeah. This way. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh, it'll get worse as we went. <laughs> Total honor, three of nine. Oh, wait, I didn't want to quit. No. Uh, play I next. think you should be able to buy upgrades now, but... Must be close. We still need to Why am this. I forgetting how you do the upgrades? Let's skip the movie and see if they jump me to an upgrade screen. Nope, nothing. Weird. Is there... There's nothing here. Doesn't appear to be anything here. What's it scrolls? Is this oh, it? Okay, that's the collectibles. Yeah, it looks like there's a there's like a zero, a zero of zero up there, the yellow zero with a triangle. Like, is that is that, that my upgrade? That's like, points for this level. Oh, okay. Oh, and those points I get you. used for upgrades, but I forget how you actually use them. Maybe it just takes some time to get to the point where we're unlocking them. I could have sworn it was earlier, but maybe not. Well, we're we're getting towards the end of this. I, I don't I don't think we have time for another complete level, um, and I should yeah. probably go grab some food before I uh, got to do more work stuff. But uh, if you can go a little bit into this, because I think this is the place where they first introduce mm -hmm. a new enemy type. Okay, great. Time yeah, for some acrobatics. Uh, of course, it could be halfway through the level. I'm not certain, but use my chain to 
lower myself until I can jump to the ledge. Oh, wow, okay. Down and beat. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's another upgrade you can get, is you can, while using the chain, kill people like that and then hang them. Are most of the upgrades just, like, the ability to kill someone while doing something else? Um, there are also other items. Like, other throwable items which do different things. So, what are the actual optional objectives here? Uh, Steer optional objectives. Oh, right, dogs. Kill dogs six are... of the courier's guards. Which is dogs, I guess? Fill five uh, the, dumpsters? You with... haven't seen the courier They're yet. The dogs. They can sniff you out even in the darkness. Oh, okay, so, th so light is irrelevant with the dogs? Uh, no, it's not irrelevant. But dogs, you notice how that dog found you just now? Uh, I, I couldn't tell out. how he found me, actually. Uh, if you were paying attention, he does this little sniffing animation with an exclamation point that oh. had nothing to do with the guard gain awarded. And gotcha. then he found where you were. Okay, so if I just get close to him, he'll detect me no matter what's going on. I think he still needs a line of sight to you, but he can notice you're nearby without it. And now that doggy's asleep, so you can get past him. By going tiptoe. I wish the lights would quit that weird thing. Yeah, I keep seeing people in the shadows. <laughs> Sorry, you missed some dialogue. It looks like there was another I did. way for me to... It's nice when they give you a challenge that, you know, if you time it just right, you could succeed without being necessarily particularly good at the game. So I end up just sort of feeling like a giant bat. Like, that wasn't actually all that hard. I just had to push one button at the right time, but I felt like I got past something ridiculous. Yeah. So, um... There's also in the upgrades is you, you've noticed I think four states for the enemies now. There's patrolling, there's investigating, there's alerted, and then there's like a, a modifier for if they've been alerted before. Yeah. Um, but there's another state which you can get with some of the upgrades, which is terrorized. Terrorized? Where they will just basically run around in a blind panic. That's be really vulnerable and easy to get past. <laughs> They're locking the doors. Yes, th this is up. what you get for stuff like hanging a guard from a tree and then having another guard see it. Nice. Yeah, like we're now getting into the early midsection of the game, which I think is the best part of it. So you've got enough abilities that you really have a lot of uh, options in each case. More, more like in the level design. Because you can go back with your abilities later. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And there's also the costumes, which have more of an impact. They impact both what These items you tell can the story of the mission uh, made carry legend. with you, and also like night. one makes your Lend footsteps totally silent, but you Land. can't kill anybody. It, it's quite <laughs> that stuff. Interesting. Yeah, one gives you uh, in. You don't have any distraction items. You only have lethal, lethal ones. Ah, there we go. These guys. As long as he has a shield. So the shield guys, behind, in addition to not being Try able to, to be attacked him. from the front, or instead of flashlights, they have here. flare guns. Oh, so they'll just they'll light up the entire area. Yeah. Must be imagining things. Like yep. I don't think think you can assassinate them from the front or like melee them from the front there we go oh what that was a bad guy i thought it was a good guy <laughs> Yeah, yeah you work. don't engage a shield guy in melee. <laughs> huh? 
so what I probably want to do yeah let's go this way okay so the light stops there that's good I'm definitely playing through this again now just because of that developer commentary <laughs> There we go, finally. All right, we'll do this. So I can. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't from a see. Point, oh. but it's next to grab an enemy and string them up. Versus, while standing or hanging directly below an enemy, press up and next to pull them to an early grave. So I can have one of these. Or hold up and press X to perform a spinning kick, launching an enemy into the air. So that's for when I'm in serious combat situations. I'm not certain, but there might be more items that I remember. Yeah, I, I generally the combat one is going to be less useful because that's the one that you use when you've already screwed up. Yeah, exactly. Whereas being able to kill enemies from above and below is very useful. Yeah, it's unfortunate that it doesn't show you what the other items are. Because there's some very interesting ones. Okay, the, the, the UX of that screen was kind of rough. Like, I, I was... The thing, the thing that B did was not what I expected B to do. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten about that until you mentioned it. <laughs> Look at all the guards patrolling near. Yeah, they were town. still kind of learning that stuff. I feel like they had to perfect that stuff and a lot more when they the did. Roof? Don't starve. It must yeah. be a communication tower. The game's a lot more like. There could be something. There's so much to, to discover. And you have to learn, be able to learn the game on the fly. And uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, okay, I, I, I really do need to uh, need to go now. But how, now we've seen. Look, they've got an upgrade system, and they've got different enemy types. They've got two whole different ones that they uh, introduced here. So, yeah. yeah. If we do this again, I can hopefully have more sweep and actually talk more about the design. I <laughs> know oh, that's fine. If we, uh, you know, I very frequently do this on no sleep and have very little to say. So this is just, <laughs> this is completely par for the course for our show. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank you Production. again, Cloudcraft, for coming in here. What were you, what were you saying? production quality yeah uh so thanks Cloudcraft, for coming in here and, and talking about this game with me and sort of introducing what we're doing uh what, what everything sort of means in the grander scheme of things and uh yeah so uh um, meaning of life <laughs> exit this game and then exit it again 